Overview of Features, Benefits, and Security for the On-Demand Assessments. In this video, we will explain about the data security and privacy users get in the on-demand assessments and log analytics. The objective is, after completing this learning unit, you will be able to explain about the data security and privacy in on-demand assessments in Azure Log Analytics. On-demand assessments use a service in Azure called Log Analytics to collect and review data for your assessments. The following diagram shows a cloud security architecture as a flow of information from your company and how it is secured as it moves to the Log Analytics service ultimately seen by you in the Azure portal. For the assessments, we will need a single Windows server in your network where we will install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent. This machine should have a healthy internet connection to communicate to a log analytics service in Azure. Represented in the diagram, the first step in running an on-demand assessment is to sign up for the log analytics workspace and start by collecting data by installing the agent and configuring an assessment. All communication between connected systems and the log analytics service is encrypted. The TLS or HTTPS protocol is used for encryption. The log analytics service receives this data and processes it internally. Once this data is processed, it is made available for users on the log analytics workspace that can be accessed via the Azure portal. You register all agent types with an enrollment key and a secure connection is established between agent and log analytics service using certificate-based authentication and SSL with port 443. Log analytics uses a secret store to generate and maintain keys. Private keys are rotated every 90 days and are stored in Azure and are maintained by the Azure operations who follow strict regulatory and compliance practices. For your organization to send data to log analytics, you can figure a Windows agent running on Azure virtual machines, on virtual or physical computer in your environment or other cloud provider. If you use Operations Manager from the management group, you can figure the Operations Manager agent. Users, which might be you, other individual users, or a group of people, create one or more log analytics workspaces and register agents by using one of the following accounts. Organizational ID, or Microsoft account, which includes Outlook, Office Live, and MSN. A log analytics workspace is where data is collected, aggregated, analyzed, and presented. A workspace is primarily used as a means to partition data, and each workspace is unique. For example, you might want to have your production data managed with one workspace and your test data managed with another workspace. Workspaces also help an administrator control user access to the data. Each workspace can have multiple user accounts associated with it, and each user account can access multiple log analytics workspaces. You create workspaces based on data center region. Each workspace is replicated to other data centers in the region, primarily for log analytics service availability. All communication between connected systems in the log analytics service is encrypted. The TLS or HTTPS protocol is used for encryption. You register all agent types with an enrollment key and a secure connection established between the agent and the log analytics service using certificate-based authentication in SSL with port 443. Log analytics uses a secret store to generate and maintain keys. Private keys are rotated every 90 days and are stored in Azure and are managed by the Azure operations who follow strict regulatory and compliance practices. The Windows or management server agent cache data is protected by the operating system's credential store. If the service cannot process the data after two hours, the agents will queue the data. If the queue becomes full, the agent starts dropping data types, starting with performance data. The agent queue limit is registry key, so you can modify it if necessary. Collected data is compressed and sent to the service, bypassing the operations manager management group databases, so it does not add any load to them. After the collected data is sent, it is removed from the cache. As described above, data from the management server or direct connected agents is sent over SSL to Microsoft Azure data centers.
The Log Analytics service ensures that incoming data is from a trusted source by validating certificates and the data integrity with Azure Authentication. The unprocessed raw data is then stored in an Azure Event Hub in the region that the data will eventually be stored at rest. The type of data that is stored depends on the types of solutions that were imported and used to collect the data. Then, the Log Analytics service processes the raw data and ingests it into the database. The retention period of collected data stored in Azure database depends on the selected pricing plan. For the free tier, collected data is available for 7 days. For the paid tier, collected data is available for 31 days by default, but can be extended to 730 days. Data is stored encrypted at rest in Azure Storage to ensure data confidentiality and the data is replicated within the local region using Locally Redundant Storage, or LRS. The last two weeks of data are also stored in SSD-based cache, and this cache is currently not encrypted. We are currently working to support encrypting SSD-based cache. To access your Log Analytics workspace, you sign into the Azure portal using the organizational account or Microsoft account that you set up previously. All traffic between the portal and Log Analytics is sent over a secure HTTPS channel. When using the portal, a session ID is generated on the user client web browser and data is stored in a local cache until the session is terminated. When terminated, the cache is deleted. Client-side cookies, which do not contain personally identifiable information, are not automatically removed. Session cookies are marked HTTP only and are secured. After a predetermined idle period, the Azure portal session is terminated. This topic explains how data is collected, processed, and secured by log analytics. You can use agents to connect to the web service, use System Center Operations Manager to collect operational data, or retrieve data from Azure Diagnostics for use by log analytics. The log analytics service manages your cloud-based data securely by using the following methods. Data segregation, data retention, physical security, incident management, compliance, and security standards certifications. In data segregation, after your data is ingested by the log analytics service, the data is kept logically separate on each component throughout the service. All data is tagged per workspace. This tagging persists throughout the data lifecycle, and it is enforced at each layer of the service. Your data is stored in a dedicated database in the storage cluster in the region you have selected. In fiscal security, the log analytics service is managed by Microsoft personnel and all activities are logged and can be audited. Log analytics is operated as an Azure service and meets all Azure compliance and security requirements. You can review details about the physical security of Azure assets on page 18 of Microsoft Azure Security Overview. Physical access rights to secure areas are changed within one business day for anyone who are no longer has responsibility for the log analytics service, including transfer and termination. You can read about the global physical infrastructure we use at Microsoft data centers. In data retention, index log search data is stored and retained according to your pricing plan. For more information, see Log Analytics Pricing. As part of your subscription agreement, Microsoft will retain your data per terms of the agreement. When the data is deleted, we also delete the Azure storage account where data resides. When customer data is removed, no physical drives are destroyed. In pricing, we have two types of pricing. One pricing tier for Azure subscriptions are created after April 2018, and the second is before April 2018. Please see the Microsoft pricing doc for more details. For incident management, Log Analytics has an incident management process that all Microsoft services adhere to. To summarize, we use a shared responsibility model where a portion of security responsibility belongs to Microsoft and a portion belongs to the customer. This includes managing Azure security incidents, notifying customers of security incidents, conducting team readiness and training. If loss of any customer data occurs, we notify each customer within one day. However, customer data loss has never occurred with the service. 
For more information about how Microsoft responds to security incidents, see Microsoft Azure Security Response in the Cloud. For compliance, the Log Analytics Software Development and Service Team's Information Security and Governance Program supports its business requirements and adheres to laws and regulations as described in Microsoft Azure Trust Center and Microsoft Trust Center Compliance. How Log Analytics establishes security requirements, identifies security controls, manages, and monitors risks are also described there. Annually, we review policies, standards, procedures, and guidelines. For certifications and attestations, Log Analytics meets a wide range of requirements. As an Azure service, the components that Log Analytics uses to adhere to Azure compliance requirements, you can read more at Microsoft Trust Center Compliance. Thank you for joining us and learning about the data security and privacy users get in the on-demand assessments and log analytics.